what is up today? I am giving my prediction for UFC 295 main event, Yuri Prohaska versus Alex Poulton Pereira. And, man, this is going to be such a good fight. Like, I, I know I say that for every prediction, but this is going to, like, this is actually going to be a good fight. Like, bro, we haven't had a fight where, like, it's just going to be a good fight. Like, you know, guaranteed, like, somebody's either going to sleep or this is about to be just some back and forth fight. And this is what this fight is going to be. Like, I know we had a bunch of fights this year. Like, Adesanya and Sean Strickland, we didn't really think that was going to be, a like, a really exciting fight. We didn't think um, Volkanovski versus Makachev was going to be crazy. Like, we didn't think it was going to be, like, the first fight. But this is just guaranteed... Um, a good fight, and so is the co-main event, Pavlovich versus Tom Aspinall. Like, this is as I think this has potential to be one of the greatest pay-per-views of all time. Cause of like the main card, the main card has some real fight of the year contenders, bro. For Vola versus Saint Denis, and um Sabatini versus Diego Lopez. Like bunch of fighters that are gonna bring it on the pay-per-view main card. I, I'm not too sure about the. The prelims, but definitely the main card. But I, I want to get straight to my prediction um, straight away. My prediction for the main event, Yuri Prohaska and Alex Pereira. I'm going with Yuri Prohaska. And, bro, look, 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 look. This could be a prediction that I, I might regret in the future. It might This prediction might just go out the window completely. This, this might age terribly. But, look, I have, I have points, bro. I have points. Um, I think if Yuri, look, I'll show you guys a scenario later, but, um, I think Yuri's just gonna have the power, and I know, I think Yuri's just gonna have a power advantage, bro, and I know I'm saying that against Alex Pereira, but I feel like if Alex Pereira touches him, or like, okay, touch him, um, if Alex Pereira hits him, I think he's more likely to get up than Alex Pereira is to get, and look, just think about that. Who is more likely? Who's more likely to get up after going down, Alex or Yuri? We've seen Yuri get hurt, get rocked by Glover. We've seen him get almost dropped before, and that's a that's a worry that I have. That's a worry that I have that he could get knocked out really badly. That's why I'm saying I might regret this pick. But I think, look, if there's somebody that is gonna get up, it's gonna be Yuri. I'm just saying, if he gets dropped, um, look. This is what I think is going to happen. I think first round is going to start off good. Alex Pereira lands a left hook, drops. It, 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 stumped, like, it drops a Yuri. It, it, it sits him down. And he, Alex is kind of throwing on ground and pound strike, but he gets up. And the, now they're trading. Now they're trading. Second round is a little more calmed down. But now they're, they're picking up the pace. They're trading now. Now they're really getting into the world. And at the end, like... At the final seconds, it's like they're they're slugging it out again. And in the third round, I think they're gonna they're gonna try. I feel like Alex is gonna go for a left hook, and I just I just see this. I don't know why I have this vision, but I just feel like Jerry is gonna collect is gonna connect clean with the left hook. And I know that's coming from I know that's coming from Yuri. And if, oh, if there's anybody to land a left hook, it's Alex Pereira. But I just feel like, look, Alex is going to be trying to get that left hook in. I feel like he's going to throw so much in this fight that I think in the third round, I feel like Yuri will time him and with his own left hook. And it'll just be, it'll just be, um, like, a, it, his left hook will land first. It, Yuri's left hook will land first before Alex does. And I think it folds Alex Pereira and puts him out. I really do. I think I think Yuri's gonna put him out cold. I feel like Yuri, we don't give him enough we don't give him enough credit for his power, bro. Cause he has some he has some power, bro. I'm telling you. He has power. Like you see how he knocked out Volkan Uzumir, knocked out Dominic Reyes. I know now those wins aren't too great, but um those are still really good wins. I think he has a, just so much power and I think he has more power than Alex Pereira. I really do. I really do believe that. And um, I just think, and also I just think that like Yuri is not going to give Alex space. I, I notice when e every time Alex fights somebody, they give him so much room. They There's like, they just they, they give him room. Look at Adesanya. They're going tit for tat. Yuri's not going to go tit for tat. He's going to go in there and try to take Alex's head off. And that could be 
that could be to his downfall, but I, I do think that's a style you got to approach because Alex gets hit when he's not on. He gets hit, and he doesn't like. He does not like fighting on the back foot. He does not. And I also think he. I feel like. I feel like um, stiff right. This is also another way I think Yuri can knock him out. I think Ale, he's pressuring on the cage. Stiff right. It drops him, and then Yuri finishes him on the ground. And I. I like. I just. I have a feeling like I don't see Alex getting. I, I mean, I could see him getting it done, but. I, I feel like Yuri's gonna come out with the knock on. He's an underdog. Yuri as an underdog, come on. Like, I cannot go with, um, I cannot go with Yuri. Um, and I know Alex was an underdog in this fight, but this is, I think, I, and I know it was a stupid pick picking Jan Blahovich, which honestly I should have expected Alex to win. That was just a stupid pick, but I don't think this is a stupid pick picking Yuri. I really don't. Even though on paper, like, Jan Blahovic, he was coming off a really bad knockout, like, a couple months ago. But besides the point, um, I think. Year's gonna get this done in the third round. And I, I could potentially see it going to the fourth. I do not see it going to the fifth. I think it goes to the fourth round. And and I think Year finishes him in the third or the fourth. Um yeah, it's just, and back to my back to back to my point. I was just saying that like Year's just not gonna give him room. I I I'm not, I'm not gonna go in, I'm not gonna say too much again, but he's just not gonna give him room to to breathe. I think he's gonna go at Alex and I think um Alex is not good. He's not good fighting off his back foot. Like I said, I think you're just gonna catch him with something and he's not gonna let him breathe. I think that's how you approach a per but people are too scared to get countered by Alex Pereira and it's it's true, but I think Yuri could explore just with his power and I think tagging him with shots, I think it'll hurt. Um I think shots will hurt Pereira. Um Alright, that's how I think Yuri's gonna win. How I think Alex Pereira's gonna win. Look, you gotta keep your distance, alright? Keep your distance. Make it a kickboxing fight. Make it a kickboxing fight. Make him make him miss. Make him miss. Just chop at those legs. Chop at Yuri's legs. If you're Alex Pereira, just chop at his legs. Time him and time him with body kicks. Body kicks. Body kicks. But hey, I could see. And look, this is a weird thing to see, but I could see. Alex Pereira catching him with a head kick, bro. I, I don't know why I see I, I can see Alex catching him with a head kick, bro. It's, I feel like Yuri's success. Ex, uh, I'm not even going to try to say it, but you, I feel like he's open to head kicks. But I think he's just, gonna just try to counter Yuri. Yuri is, and try to pressure Yuri. I think you pressure Yuri, that's also a good, but try to um counter Yuri um on crazy shots that he's throwing because Yuri, if you guys haven't seen him, he does crazy things, bro. He's gonna fly knee. He's gonna keep flying knee and counter those flying knees. You seen like um that one Ode Osborne fight with um Tyson Nam where he goes from flying knee, boom, right in mid air. Do something like that. I think Alex could do something like that, make a viral knockout. Um, just he's gonna come out crazy, and I think Alex is just, he's gonna have to back up, time him with a shot, time time him with these shots, time him with a knee, time him with those shots, and. Um, I think that's that's how Alex could get it done. Quick prediction. It, this is a really quick prediction. I mean, I know this is a very complex fight to break down, but not for me. I, I'm really, I'm really confident. I'm, well, I'm not 100% confident, but I'm confident enough to make this prediction. So, um, yeah. Um, I think, I think you know who's really gonna win. Who, the fans are gonna win. The fans are gonna win. It's gonna be a really good fight. The pay-per-view, the co-main event, everything's gonna be good. I just hope it's a good fight, at least. If I, even if I get my pick wrong, I want this fight to be good. I want something exciting to happen out of this. So, yeah, that's my prediction. And hold on, final prediction: Yuri Prohaska by third round knockout. That's my prediction. Peace.